Hey guys, Brie here. Welcome back to the Silence and Sisters. So for today, I'm going to be telling you guys the time my uncle literally tried to cook me. But before we get into the story time, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more story time videos. And without further ado, let's get on to the story time. So this story takes place last summer when I went to Prince Edward Island to visit my dad's sister, my uncle, and my two cousins. So, going on this trip was my grandmother, my dad's mom, and my two younger cousins who live here. We are going to visit our family in PEI, and the night that we arrived there, it was quite late. We got there about 12 at night, around there. And so, my aunt, my aunt and uncle live about 5-10 minutes away from the airport, so they're pretty close. So, after we got all our bags and got settled into the car we drove back to my aunt and uncle's house we had to be very quiet because my younger cousins were upstairs sleeping along with my aunt so we tried not to make too much noise because again it's like late at night and we don't want to wake up little ones the youngest is was is two so we don't want to wake up a two-year-old then that won't be a fun party at all so anyway after we got settled for the night um, my aunt and uncle's house is all open concept, so um, there's one part where my cousins use that as the playroom, and that's like the temporary guest room that they have. So there's an air mattress and a little bed, and that's where my grandmother and my two cousins slept. I slept on the couch. And so that night, I found it very hot in the house for some reason. I thought, well, for an island, shouldn't it be like really nice and cool at night? But no. I was like literally dripping buckets of sweat and the area where the couch is there's no window so I had no window to open to save myself from the humidity that I was dying of. Um, in the other part, the playroom where the temporary guest room is, where my two cousins and our grandmother were sleeping, they were cool as a cucumber, I kid you not. They. I was like really jealous of them. They had windows open so they can get some nice fresh air. So there they are. They're all sleeping cool as a cucumber and there's me cooking and sweat literally. Like I was like, I, like I'm not exaggerating guys. Like I was like dripping in sweat. That's how bad I was like dying of heat. And then it took in like two seconds to realize and I turn and I turn. I look at the end of the couch and what do I see? The dehumidifier is on. I completely did not see that because it's like really late now. This is well like 1, 2 in the morning and I'm just realizing that now. And so at this point I turn and look at the dehumidifier I'm like oh my god. Don't tell me it's blasting hot air. So I go up to the dehumidifier, I feel, I'm like, oh my god, it's blasting hot air. And where's the dehumidifier pointing to? To where the couch, where I'm sleeping. So I'm like, oh my god, my uncle is trying to cook me. My uncle forgot to turn off the dehumidifier and I was roasting all day. And so the next morning, I tell my aunt what happened. Like I'm basically telling her, oh my god. I don't know what happened, but your husband was like trying to like cook me last night because I was like, I could you know, I was like, I was like dripping in sweat. And it was just like crazy how hot it was. So then my aunt's like, What do you mean you were like sweating all night? I'm like, Well, thanks to your dear husband, he left the dehumidifier on full blast on hot. And I was dying of of heat because it was so hot and so my uncle ended up getting in trouble my aunt's like what are you trying to do cook our knees like like what are you trying to do like oh my god it was just really uh and after and after that guys my uncle learned his lesson and from that night on I slept and I had a good night's sleep and I was nice and cool no more hot it was awesome. I'll insert a picture here somewhere of the view that I took up of that next morning. Uh, I'll insert it here or somewhere in this video of the of the sunrise that I took of the morning. And then like uh, if you see the picture again, it'll be somewhere on the screen and you'll see like how close they are to the beach. Like that's how close they are. 
Um, but anyway, that's a wrap on this story time video. If you enjoyed the story time video and you want to see more story time videos, then give this video a thumbs up. Our social media, our, our Instagram, and my Twitter link down below. And if you guys want me to do a little haul of the souvenirs that I got from PEI, then I just might do that video. Be on the lookout because I because I might do that. But anyway, that's a wrap on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the story time video. Let me know in the comments down below if this has ever happened to you where someone cranked the heat up and forgot to turn off and you were like dying of like like cause dying of like how hot like the hotness of how hot it was. So let me know if this has ever happened to you. But anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, have a fantastic day, you guys. And I'll catch up with you in my next video. Bye.